I've walked over 50,000 steps today to show you some of the fun, free things that you can do in Sydney. Hey guys, it's Steve from the Fat Life Project. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am predominantly based in Sydney, which I think you can agree is one of the best cities to live in. In fact, it was named the best city in the world to live in according to a survey conducted by Brand Finance in May 2023 this year. But I would also be the first to admit that the cost of living in Sydney is high. Everything from going to a movie or getting a cup of coffee is freaking expensive. Thankfully though, there are still many things that you can do in this beautiful city without paying a single cent. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you five of my favorite free activities in Sydney. I will include one bonus location at the end of this video, so make sure you keep watching. And you're gonna to wanna to listen closely to this next one if you're new or just visiting Sydney. The I Am Free Walking Tours is one of the best free and time efficient ways to cover all of the important landmarks in Sydney City. Not only that, your super friendly tour guide will also give you the origin stories of each of the spots. You start right here in front of the iconic town hall steps and from there you walk across town to places like the Queen Victoria building to the barracks before finishing up at the rocks. The walk is over very flat terrain. We had people from many different age groups in the tour who managed to finish up just fine. It will take around two and a half to three hours to finish up with a little break in between. Also, feel free to ask your tour guide any other questions you might have which can also include more ideas for what to do around Sydney as well as where to eat. I mean I learned so many new things out of this tour even as a seasoned Sydney local. And while there is absolutely no obligation for you to pay the tour guide at all, you do have the option to pay them what you think the tour was worth and honestly for me at least, the tour guide was so friendly and offered up so much useful information that I would just recommend you pay them something for their efforts. It is super simple to sign up for an I am free walking tour, I have included the booking link in my description box. Finishing up the tour at the rocks also gives you the perfect opportunity to check out the only contemporary art museum in Australia with a permanent collection. The museum overlooks panoramic views of the Opera House and stands as a beacon for modern art and culture enthusiasts. It is located at 140 George Street. The building is home to over 4,000 pieces of art by Australian artists that have been incrementally acquired since 1989 with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists comprising a significant portion of this. The MCA is closed on Tuesdays every week but open from 10am to 5pm on all days apart from Fridays when it's open all the way till 9pm. Oh and don't forget to go all the way up to the fourth floor to check out the MCA Cafe and Sculpture Terrace. Grab yourself some food and a coffee and enjoy it whilst overlooking this amazing view of Sydney. I mean just look at it. I have included the Google Map pin for the MCA in my description box for your ease of reference. Just the PSA though that entries into most museums in Sydney are absolutely free save for one-off exhibitions and this next one is hands down one of my favourites. The Australian Museum is not only a heritage listed building, it is also the oldest museum in Australia as well as the fifth oldest natural history museum in the world. It is open from 10am to 5pm 7 days a week and as you can see there is plenty to see as the exhibits are spread across 5 levels. I especially recommend you check out the 200 Treasures Gallery located at the magnificently restored Westpac Long Gallery. As the name suggests, it showcases 100 treasures of the Australian Museum alongside the stories of 100 of Australia's most influential people spread across three levels. Another highlight for me would be the Minerals Gallery that features one of the largest collections of rocks and minerals in Australia that was collected over 200 years. It features over 80,000 specimens from across Australia and the world. Simply stunning. The Australian Museum is located at the corner of William Street and College Street in Darlington, Sydney. It is super easy to get to but I have included the Google Map pin in my description box so that you can plan your travel accordingly. But this is the walk that you should do if you A want to see four iconic Sydney locations all in one go and B witness sunrise or sunset at the best location in town. You will start off at Woolloomooloo where most 
most public transportation or cab will drop you off at and walk past your first iconic location, Mrs. Macquarie's chair, which is by the way where you can get a fantastic view of the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House in one shot overlooking the stunning waters. Just a quick fun fact for those who don't know, the Mrs. Macquarie's chair is a sandstone bench that was actually hand carved by convicts back in 1810 for Mrs. Elizabeth Macquarie, the wife of the then governor of New South Wales. Anyway, this is the spot to stay at if you want to witness sunrise or sunset, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Anyway, if you're there for sunrise, you can then easily walk over to our second iconic Sydney location, which is the Royal Botanical Gardens. It opens at 7am and is at the oldest botanical gardens in Australia, featuring over 28,000 individual plants and 8,637 unique species. It will take you at least a good hour to fully experience the beauty of the gardens, which is paired with a stunning backdrop of the harbour. Circle along the harbour to get to what is arguably the most iconic Sydney monument of them all, the Sydney Opera House. And while you do need to have tickets or a restaurant booking to get into the Opera House, the architecture of the building itself is stunning to look at from the outside and walking around the building itself will also give you amazing views of the Harbour Bridge. Most importantly, walking around the Opera House is not only allowed but absolutely free. Cut across the Opera House and you will now enter Circular Quay where you can catch ferries to places like Manly and Cockatoo Island, but we might have to leave those places for another episode. I have included the Google Map locations of each of these stop points of the walk in my description box. But those of you watching who are already subscribers will know full well that I could never say no to a night market, and I have purposefully left this next spot for the last. Chinatown itself is located in the Haymarket Precinct, which is also surrounded by many fantastic Thai, Korean, Malay, Asian, Japanese, and Indonesian restaurants, making it a great place for you to explore the multicultural cuisines that Sydney has to offer. But we are here because I want to take you to Chinatown's famous weekly Friday night market that remains one of Sydney's most popular late night hotspots. The market has a wide array of stalls offering you everything from teppanyaki to pho. They are located along Dixon Street and starts at 4 p.m., running all the way till 11 p.m. every Friday. Friday. As always, I have included the Google Map pin in my description box. But if eating while staying on budget is your thing, I've also previously done a top 15 best Chinatown cheap eats under $15. I have linked that video at the end of this video so that you can go ahead and watch that next. And also, if you're researching or looking for places to eat around Sydney, I've also got an extensive Sydney playlist, which I've also included at the end of this video and in my description box. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, informative, or even entertaining in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. It is absolutely free to do, but it just really helps my tiny little channel out. And by the way, I also upload every Saturday, so when you click that subscribe button, feel free to also also turn on that bell notification so that you can start your weekends with me. And if you got to this point of the video, I would like to sincerely thank you for your support. It truly means the world to me. I hope that you have a fantastic day ahead or that you've already had a good day. As always, I will see you soon in the next video.